Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for this update from your coronavirus headquarters. I'm Tyler Job. Governor Tony Evers is ordering the closure of all non-essential businesses starting tomorrow. He is also urging people to stay at home to slow the spread of the coronavirus that has killed four people in the state and infected at least nearly 400. Governor Evers tweeted this morning that he would be signing the order tomorrow. It comes after Evers already ordered K through 12 schools and a host of other businesses closed, including bars, restaurants and hair salons and limited gatherings to no more than 10 people. But the newer tighter restriction mirrors what other states have done, including neighboring Illinois. The La Crosse County Health Department is advising some community members to self quarantine. Health officials say an individual who currently has the coronavirus reportedly attended a funeral and went to a restaurant in our area before experiencing symptoms. The funeral was held from 4 to 6 p.m. at St. Patrick's Church in Onalaska on March 11th, and afterwards they went to the Onalaska Red Lobster until 7.30 p.m. If you attended the funeral or were at Red Lobster in the given time frame, you should stay home from work, avoid social activities and stay alert for any symptoms until March 26th. Anyone who thinks they may have been exposed is asked to identify themselves to the county health department. Negotiations over a bill that could put direct checks into the hands of many Americans stalled over the weekend, but Senate leaders say they may be close to a deal. House Democrats are also working on their own plan. More than 471 Americans have died from the coronavirus, with more than 35,000 U.S. cases confirmed since the outbreak. Natalie Brand is at the White House with the latest. The Senate is expected to hold votes in another attempt to bring a nearly $2 trillion coronavirus stimulus package to the floor. The motion is not agreed to. Democrats blocked a procedural leader. vote Sunday demanding more guardrails on funding for major corporations and additional resources for hospitals and health care needs. We need the best bill possible. And what it has is, for instance, a giant, giant corporate bailout fund with no accountability. We had a good bipartisan bill developed on a bipartisan basis until the Democratic leader and the Speaker of the House decided to blow it all up. Senate Republicans are trying to fast track the legislation as six members are under self quarantine, including Kentucky's Rand Paul, the first senator to test positive for COVID 19. Speaker Nancy Pelosi says House Democrats are also working on their own bill. President Trump has activated the National Guard and signed disaster declarations for Washington State, California and New York. But some state and city leaders are calling on the White House to step up efforts to compel companies to make more life-saving medical equipment. Every single day, there are people looking and saying, do we need to compel someone to do this? Let's make the call. OK, they're already at max production. They're already working around the clock. And again, we are using the stockpile and FEMA to get resources out to people who need it. Vice President Mike Pence will head to FEMA headquarters later for a conference call with state governors. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. The vice president hinted the CDC could release new guidance later today that could make it possible for people exposed to the coronavirus to return to work quicker if they take precautions, such as wearing a face mask. And here's a look at the community changes that are happening today. The La Crosse MTU is reducing bus routes. Buses will run from 5.40 a.m. to 10.40 p.m. Monday through Saturday. There will be no routes on Sunday. Patients at Mayo Clinic Health System and Toma Health will no longer be allowed to visitors. Exceptions will be allowed for specific circumstances like birth and end-of-life care. For more information on community closings and changes, just visit your local coronavirus headquarters on our website, news8000.com. There will be some changes for the 2020 census due to the, due to the COVID-19 outbreak. The U.S. Census Bureau announced a two-week delay in field operations. Because of this, the Bureau recommends responding to the census online or calling the number on your paper form sent through the mail. The census determines the number of seats each state has in the House of Representatives. It's also used to draw congressional and state legislative districts. Plus, the data collected determines how federal funding is distributed across communities. The census plays a major role in shaping the next decade, which is why it's so important to fill it out. So far, 18.6 million people have responded to the census. There's plenty of people in our area that are rallying to help others, and we'd like to lift up some of the good happening in our community during these difficult times. If you know of some good deeds happening, please let us know. We'll try to spotlight some of these helpers in our newscasts. You can send us your stories on our Facebook and Twitter pages, and you can also email us 
email us at news8 at wkbt.com. Thank you so much for joining us for this coronavirus update. You can always get the latest anytime on our website, news8000.com, or download our mobile app. Have a good day.